Hello and welcome to another Conversations with Dr. Westman. Today we're going to be chatting about polycystic ovarian syndrome. And we also have a bonus for you. It's Dr. Westman's free 10 things you need to know to lose fat on a keto diet. We'll put a link for you in the description. How are things going, Eric? Going well. How are you, Glenn? Very, very good. Thank you. So, um, Eric, what is exactly polycystic ovarian syndrome? Yeah, well, it's a disease or condition that affects women. Uh, and often the women have trouble getting pregnant. So it's a, a situation that often will come up if you're trying to um, trying to have a child, you're not able to. Uh, and so it usually comes to medical attention when a couple is uh, going to a fertility clinic to try to get help having a baby. Although that, that's kind of the late stage when someone finally figures it out. There are other things that can make you think you might have it uh, or, or your loved one might have it. And that's um, uh, PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome is usually accompanied with excessive hair growth for women uh, on the face or other parts of the body. Um, there's actually a, a phenomenon where um, some women have to shave like men or, or pluck or, or go get wax, waxing removal of facial hair. So if you know someone who's doing that or has to do that or, or you're doing that, you might actually consider that you may have polycystic ovarian syndrome. The reason for the extra hair is that more testosterone is produced in this condition. So the, the um, manifestation of PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome have to do with um, the excessive hair growth and infertility. And um, what, what causes this, Eric? Right. Well, that's the that's where the polycystic ovarian comes from. <laughs> it's it's kind of a tough thing to do, to describe. I wanted to just highlight the important things about having trouble with menstrual cycles and and hair growth. But it's a problem of the ovaries. That's the ovarian uh, in the title, and the, most of the people will have these extra cysts in the ovaries. These are actually the eggs that aren't are released. Um, and so the polycystic means many cysts, ovarian syndrome means in the ovaries. So many cysts in the ovaries. The, the problem is it, it, that doesn't happen for everyone. So the, um, the, the name doesn't really correctly describe everyone who has it. Um, if you have an ultrasound of the ovaries, um, which is a non-invasive kind of thing. Ultrasounds are done all the time in obstetrics and gynecology. Um, if you have an ultrasound and, and it shows these ovaries that have a cyst in them, it, you can actually see them, but not everyone has that. So the, uh, it's a problem of the ovaries producing too much of the male hormone testosterone. Thus, the, uh, therefore, the, the menstrual cycles don't work correctly. You get more of the male characteristics of extra hair on the body, which is from that hormone testosterone. So it's too much testosterone. Now, I've also heard that if left untreated, um, it can lead to type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, and also problems relating to the cardiovascular system. Right. So... Also accompanying this problem usually is extra weight, not always, but usually these uh, women are overweight or obese, and also insulin resistance happens in the body, so that insulin resistance is the precursor, as we've talked about for a long time, in other conditions as a pre precursor for prediabetes and diabetes and heart disease. So yeah, PCOS has a overlap with a um, pre predisposition toward all of those problems too. Now it's thought that um, there's actually no cure for polycystic ovarian syndrome. Well, there's no medication cure, um, but actually you can reverse PCOS by lifestyle change by, and by a keto lifestyle. It is a, an especially good one because that um, carbohydrate 
hydrate is part of the problem for the ovaries to actually start producing more testosterone. So you reduce carbohydrate in the food by whatever means, including a keto lifestyle, and it actually can improve. So it's true, there's no medication that can cure it, but don't be confused. There are a lot of lifestyle treatments that are actually very effective too, even stronger than medications. Now in your clinic, what's the, you know, how many people would, have you seen with polycystic ovarian syndrome and that you've implemented your protocols and they have reversed it? What sort of percentage of people, how many people, what are we talking about here? Yeah, so my clinic is an internal medicine, obesity medicine clinic, and I focus on using lifestyle and a keto lifestyle is what I like to start with, with just about everyone. I would say uh, two dozen maybe over, I mean, over years. So uh, my practice has a wide variety of people. Um, the average age in my practice is about 60 years old. So because PCOS affects young women, um, that's not the average kind of practice that I have. There are other doctors who are OBGYN specialists who use keto and low carb diets, and they probably have seen many more people than I have. But um, the whole idea of reducing carbohydrate, because then it reduces the insulin, reducing the insulin reduces the effect on the ovary. So that is all on the same pathway of how you fix PCOS. It's by reducing the insulin levels. There are some medications that can be used for it, like metformin, but it, it's not all that powerful. It's more powerful to change the food and change the lifestyle and do a keto lifestyle if, if that's what suits you. Now, if somebody came to you um, with uh, PCOS um, and they decided they were going to implement your protocols, um, how long could they, would they take? Or would you suggest that they take, it would take to reverse this condition? Well, a lot of the symptoms will get better very quickly. So the change in hair characteristics and the hair growth happens pretty fast. I mean, in a matter of weeks. And in fact, the fertility can come back so that if someone has had difficulty getting pregnant, even they've gone to the fertility specialists and then they come to see me, I have to kind of warn them that, you know, hey, you might become pregnant very quickly here, like within the first month or two. So the, the menstrual cycles can come back, the ovaries can start producing eggs again. And if that was the cause of the fertility problem, that can happen very fast. Now, most young women who come to me want to become pregnant, so it's not a problem. But if, if you don't want to become pregnant, then I warn the people, that the couples, that they have to start using contraception. You know, be careful. And sometimes they're, they're kind of not paying attention anymore because they haven't been able to get pregnant. So you have to be very careful. If you don't want to be pregnant, you have to start using contraception immediately when you change the diet because the effects on the symptoms can be that fast. Weight loss occurs, you know, one to two pounds per week. So that's four to eight pounds per month, 50 to 100 per year. So that uh, may take longer to fix, but the symptoms themselves of PCOS can get better, you know, almost overnight. Now I've heard you uh, once or twice tell a great story about someone that came to you with PCOS and actually um, uh, managed to fall pregnant. Do you want to share that with us? Or are you allowed to share it with us? Well, that's it's happened frequently. I mean, the um, and usually people are very happy. I'll get an email, you know some weeks later saying, you know, doc, I am, I'm pregnant. Thank you so much. Um, and no, so occasionally I'll be at a meeting and, uh, you know, we went around the, the country with adapt keto events. And I recall testing out the, you know, beginning the talk by saying, you know, I got one of my patients pregnant this week and there's a hush in the audio. Oh, no, no, it's not what you think. It, it's <laughs> because PCOS got better and they were able to conceive. So usually there's, a, you know, then it's some joking about it, ha, because I don't normally, I'm, I don't have a GYN practice. So my patients don't normally get pregnant, let alone um, me influence that part of their life. <laughs> so it, it usually is kind of funny, although it might be 
horrifying to some people if they don't understand what I'm really trying to say is that you can actually impact that uh, fertility by just changing the food, which is pretty amazing. Eric, thank you for highlighting you know, this very, very important topic. And hopefully there's somebody that's watching this or that will watch or is watching this video um, and it applies to them. Um, before we go quickly, um, what are the ways somebody, if they suspect that they've got PCOS, how do they, is it, is it, a, is it a, an ultrasound? What other kind of test can they do to see or determine if they actually, in fact, do have PCOS? Well, the, the first thing you want to do is to talk to a doctor about it, I think, because it's, it's what's known as a syndrome, meaning there isn't just one specific test. Uh, so there's not a blood test that says you have PCOS. It's a, you know, the symptoms of the, the hair growth, the irregular menstrual cycles, the insulin resistance, and perhaps the ultrasound, but uh, it, it doesn't necessarily have to have that ultrasound. Um, so you can have, so you could figure it out on your own and then just start the lifestyle change or consult your doctor for blood tests that look for insulin resistance. Either way is, is okay. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Eric. We really appreciate all this information. Uh, that's all we have time for today, folks. Don't forget about your bonus. It's Dr. Westman's free 10 things you need to know to lose fat on a keto diet. And as again, uh, mentioned earlier on, we'll put the link for you in the description. Um, if you would like to learn more about Adapt Your Life Academy and our upcoming courses, you can find us at adaptyourlifeacademy.com. Eric, as always, thank you so much for your time. We look forward to catching up with you again next week on another interesting topic. Until then, it's uh, over and out from us. If you like this video, you're going to love our Adapt Your Life Academy. So click on the link in the description to find out more.